Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a little presentation for everyone on The Sims team and I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me. And one thing that I would love is better categories. So what I mean is basically like subcategories. Obviously I'm no artist, concept artist. I can't do that so I just put stickers on what I mean. So I think it would be good to have like a category for grunge, decals, posters, painting, and then all because if you build you are aware that the painting category is just filled up there's a lot of decals a lot of grunge a lot of things you have to scroll through and I just think it would be helpful if we could just have some subcategories so this is what it looks like so far so normally obviously this is how you look at it but I do have better built by so I can make it bigger but like there's so much like what is all this like it's taking up most of it look at all all these decals from cats and dogs it's just it's so much it's just a lot and then I would like a poster section for all these posters and yet we're still seeing decals down here there's so many but yeah it would be nice to have like a poster section and for whatever reason this shows up in the painting category that's not a painting that's not a poster that's not a decal and that's not grunge so it would be good if they could clean it up this also is not a painting it's not a poster it's just in the the wrong category even this trellis from high school years shows up in the painting category like that makes no sense it does not belong here so I would love to see a subcategory for a lot of the things in the sims 4 not just for paintings because a lot of things just need it so next up I was thinking about the plants so I have the picture here saying hanging plant table plant standing plant I couldn't fit all the photos I wanted but obviously we don't have that many hanging plants but I don't know if they could make a category for it. It gives them a reason to just add more. I just want more of it, okay? I believe there's only two hanging plants that I can think of. And it's this one from the Blooming Rooms kit and this one from Paranormal. And they do show up under ceiling decorations, so I guess that's also nice. But those are the only two. And I guess if you turn on Debug, you'll also like get the nifty knitting plants under here. But yeah, I just want more hanging plants that would be nice and then I want the other subcategory to be table plants so small plants that fit on a table and then standing plants which are obviously made to be on the ground and then I want wall plants outdoor plants because some of them are meant to be outside so I also think that would be lovely and moving on I would love if we could have a subcategory for the lights as well and I am very aware in the objects by function section under lighting you basically do have a subcategory it's just I don't really like to build this way I prefer to just build objects by room at least to me I feel like most people probably build by objects by room so I think it would just be helpful to have both options so you know just put like a subcategory right here it would be so nice and so much easier and efficient to get to your objects than having to like go here and etc and personally for someone that used to play on console the objects by function feature like it would take forever okay maybe that's a exaggeration but like it wouldn't pop up straight away like it would definitely take a while that I would be like oh my gosh is my game frozen but yeah I would just love this in a subcategory so obviously we have our ceiling light our wall lights our table lights our floor lights our outdoor lights and then I put miscellaneous lights just because they also have like the miscellaneous section themselves so and then the clutter section is also a big mess so I think one way to break it up would be to have kid clutter because there's a lot of stuff from like parenthood growing together that is specifically made for like a kid's bedroom or just a kid's area in general so it's just nice to easily get to things more if they were in a subcategory. Then we have kitchen clutter and yeah we have like the mugs, we have like the plates these paper plates and there's just like a lot of kitchen clutter that I'm thinking about like the fruit bowl, the paper towels, the utensils, the cookbooks and honestly I think you could also put the hutches in this category as well. I guess like it wouldn't be in a kitchen but like it would be in a dining room maybe. Kitchen, dining room, it's connected. And also there's like this miscellaneous decoration option so it's like the fruit bowl and there's just a lot of stuff in that too and it's very messy and a lot of it probably could go under the clutter section but if you made a new subcategory you could put it under the kitchen clutter section and then 
then I was thinking of office clutter and it doesn't specifically have to be like pins, pencils, books. It could be like the art stuff. It could be like the gym decoration stuff because I don't know, an office can be a multi-purpose room just at home for you basically. So you could have the sticky notes in your office. You can have the quill. You can have these books. You can have these boxes. Look at all these boxes that we have. And of course you could have like these books that show up under this category. They could just keep this in the bookshelf category but if you want to put it in clutter just put it under the office clutter. You can have these boxes. You can have this. That's good. You can have these pile of books. You can have these books. Imagine if this actually worked as a bookshelf. There's so many things that could go in here. I'm not gonna pull out everything but obviously a lot of these objects like the tissue box it doesn't have to be just in an office but you know it's just like very simple. Something that you could put in an office so it's just like a nice way to like separate some of these items and then next up I have bathroom clutter so here you can see like the toothpaste you can see like the soap you can see the combs and I also think that would just be nice because like if you go to the bathroom section you can get to the clutter but for some reason it's under the clutter category as well and if you were to eye drop this item the bathroom stuff shows up well actually I guess I think the towels show up under miscellaneous decorations if you eye drop it which is weird so it kind of has its own category in the bathroom section so I guess you necessarily don't have to put it here as well and then also I would like some bedroom clutter things you would just put in your bedroom again like a lot of these items like you could put this in your bedroom you could put the chest table in your bedroom the tissue box in your bedroom but when I was thinking about that it was mainly the everyday clutter items like the glasses the shoes the watch this the jewelry the hat the makeup this note thingy that could also go in the office as well though but yeah again I'm not gonna pull everything out and before I mention like the bathroom clutter section in the bathroom it's called accents but if we go back to clutter there's this thing that we got from love Struck that is called the smooth and suave toiletry sets and it's not even in the bathroom clutter section so obviously that is a problem it should definitely show up there we also just have plenty of this kitchen stuff that I would love just to see in the kitchen section I feel like there's so much there's pots there's a lot of things from the dine out pack but moving on from this section now I'm gonna talk about the beds so in the bed section I think it would be very useful to separate it by bassinet cribs and toddlers in the same section and then the single beds the pods and the coffins could be its own category as well then we have our double beds and our bunk beds so we have plenty of single beds and thankfully they do show up at the top so I guess that's a good thing and then we have our caskets and our pods I don't know why this has to show up under the bed category. I didn't even notice that. Same with like the bushes and the horse bed. I don't necessarily know if it needs to be in this category. I don't think anyone looks for a bush and says, hmm, let me go to the bed category, you know? I don't think they go to the bed category when looking for a pet bed. You know, that's just my opinion. But yeah, I think that would be nice as well. And then, of course, there's always more. There's a lot of things in the activity section and obviously it would be too much to like separate it by easel, workout stuff, instruments, but I just think it would be very useful if you put like the easels together, the workout equipment together, etc. next to each other because like the easels are very separated. They're very scattered in that category and it's just like can you just put them in the same row just next to each other, the same row, and you can put it from lowest to highest price. I just want them to be together. That's all. Same with the workout equipment. A lot of it was together like this part. It was together so that's nice and this might be a little extra but I would like for the punching bags to be together and then next to it we can have the treadmills. Next to it we can have the workout machines and also again like I mentioned before like the miscellaneous decorations is a mess and some of it can be added to the clutter section in the categories of course. So if we want to take a look at that this is the miscellaneous decorations and as you can tell there's like a lot of kitchen stuff so like we have these utensils we have these utensils we have these paper towels we have this dish rack this bread box we have this stuff just a lot of clutter in here for the kitchen we have this fruit cake and again there's even like bathroom stuff in this section which I don't think needs to show up because you can just get it from here we have this thingy that could go in the kitchen we have some fruit bowls but yeah there's just 
just like plenty of it. But like the kitchen stuff can have like dining room and kitchen clutter. So it doesn't have to be like all kitchen. We can put the hutches in here too. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not even all of it because I didn't pull all the things out from the clutter section. But yeah, there's just like a lot of kitchen stuff in this one section. We just could do better with subcategories. That's the whole point of this video if you couldn't tell. And also like the outdoor activities could use some help as well. I think it would be very nice to put like all the gardening stuff together. So I'm thinking like the gardening pots, the boxes, the vertical planters, the flower arranging table, even the bee box honestly because they help with the plants. So anything related to gardening I think that would be good. And a lot of them are at the top. Well actually all of them are pretty much at the top except for like the flower arranging table that I would like. The bee box. And then we have like a lot of swings for the kids. I think that would be good put together as well. So like the slide, the kiddie pool, the swings, the monkey bars, Welbert maybe, the pit, the jungle gems. I think that would just be nice in the kids category as well as like the water slide. You know it would be good put together. Maybe this is like a better idea of what I mean but we do have like a styled rooms button and this is how it looks. So this is just how I envisioned the subcategories being like. So like you have the kitchen clutter right here. You have the bedroom clutter, the office clutter. I just think that would be very handy and this honestly could go for a lot of things. I didn't list everything in this video obviously but I was thinking about windows so like how you could have like circle and arched windows in their own category. Medium windows in their own category. Well actually no I need small windows too so a small medium and floor to ceiling category as well. I say small because there's that very small window in base game. I can think of plenty small windows that aren't a circle or an arch. And then for the doors I was thinking like interior, arch, exterior, sliding door. I usually use the sliding doors as a back door so it could be like sliding door slash back door. And then for like the couches I was thinking sofas, love seats, and ottomans. For the chairs I was thinking dining, desk chairs, armchairs, and poofs. And for the rugs I was thinking circle, runner, small, medium, and large. And for sculptures I just put that it's messy. I did want to like elaborate on that a little bit but here is the styled rooms category as you can see that is pretty nice so I think they definitely could do it for all these other sections and the sculptures category is what is messy as well as the miscellaneous decorations it has like a lot of stuff that could be put into the clutter section like this bear it could go in with the bedroom and there's also just like pumpkins and like season decoration things that I feel like could have their own category I suppose but yeah like we have this stuff from the country kitchen kit that could go in the kitchen why is it in the sculptures category that is not a sculpture same with this flower tin and the bread box and then we have this owl thingy i would probably put this in like maybe the living room but you know it's just like simple clutter that doesn't need to be in this section we even have this bathroom thingy in this section it's not a sculpture we have these books in these sections we also have this item from discover university in this section like it makes no sense to be here. It should be in the clutter section but no it's under sculptures. Like it's such a weird choice to put all of this in here. I just think it's a mess and there should be a better way to like separate these items. Like even if you wanted to put a section that said museum item I think that would be better. I just it's a lot but I'm just gonna leave the video off here but I'm just saying we have to end this. This is a mess. I want subcategories so bad. I want them so bad. So in the description of this video I'll probably put it in the comments as well but I'm gonna make a feedback post on the forums and if you could like reply to that me to it or whatever probably replying to it is better. I guess me to it as well just so they can see how many people want this. I think it would be for the best. Sometimes I find myself scrolling and scrolling and scrolling for an object but yeah I'm gonna leave the video off here. If you enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe. I love you you are important and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!